hi, I'm Domino. Welcome to Craft and Analytical. So today I'm going to make a, a laptop mat. It sounds beautiful. Just smells like something you can even eat. You might want to ask, why do we need a leather desk laptop mat anyways? Why not? Leather, it's natural product. It's nothing synthetic or artificial about it. And it can last your whole lifetime. It's just a more put together piece for you to carry around. You can have immediate setup for your work. Either you are out in the woods, in the park, or in a cafe, or any other place. When you take it out, put it down, you're ready to work. Also, with the letter, you won't be adding anything to the landfill anymore. It will not crack up as long as you take care of it properly. It is just a lifelong purchase. Now, shall we get started? First thing, we're going to unwrap this roll of leather. For the leather, we specifically use Crazy Horse Leather. It is not horse leather. It is still cow high, but it's used to make horse saddles. That's why it gained the name Crazy Horse. It's very supple leather. It's not too heavy. We fell in love with Crazy Horse Leather the first time we touch it. As for how I'm gonna unwrap this one, follow me. Leather just beautiful. It smells so good. Now for cutting, square with the right angle ruler. It will come very handy. Let me find a perfect spot for our leather mat first and then cut it out. Using our square ruler. Now when you cut the leather, make sure that you use a stand to hold the leather still so it will not move around. You don't want that to happen. Just take your time doing it. Perfect. Okay, now we no longer need the ruler, so I'm going to put it aside. This could be the perfect size for tying the leather desk mat later. But I actually have something else in mind that I kind of want to do. So we'll see. Put it aside first. So right now we have the perfect size. It is 22 by 12 inches. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna sew the edges. Let's head to our sewing machine. To sew leather, it's best to use an industrial sewing machine. The needle is stronger. Before sewing, we need to plan it first because you do want the most seamless part will be the gaze of your customer most frequently. Probably place it at the middle because that's the place where you don't really touch so what I usually do is I backstitch first and then forward, move forward just once. Okay, now let's move forward. Make sure you keep it straight because the back of our letter is the fresh size. It's very helpful to prevent slippery. However, when we're sewing, if it stay, it would tend to stay behind the needle. The sewing line will get slanted. That's why we need to intentionally hold the letter in place and move together with the needle. Sometimes you may not get the exact right interval, so we need to change the interval um, sometimes, but do remember to change it back. Now you can see almost reconvene with our starting point, so we need to be a little bit more careful, uh, slow down a little bit so that we can meet with the starting point. Get your scissor and thread zipper ready. Clean our mess. Mm -hmm. 
I think this corner looks pretty nice. So I'm gonna just put out a logo at this corner. I really like our logo design. These two lovely creatures are a female and a male and a female caribou. Caribou, only kind of reindeer that both male and female grow antlers. So we think it's pretty unique. Now I already embossed our logo on it. Let's move on to burnish the edge. This is Tokono. I fill it in with this big bottle and this is slicker, edge slicker. What we're gonna do is to make the edge smoother. After we burnish it with Tokono, it will look more put together, give our letter mat a more finished look. So let's get to it. After applying a layer of tokeno on the edge, now let's use the edge slicker to burnish the edge. What happened basically is when we rock against the edge, it will create as a heat and the heat is going to sew a freshly cut edge together. So it makes it, eventually it will make the edge smooth and it would also gain this luster, this shiny texture afterwards. But it's going to take a very long time. So when it is properly burnished, you will hear this slicking sound. This sounds beautiful. Actually, when you think about it, it's a lot of effort devoted into this seemingly very simple desk laptop mat. But this item is gonna last our customers a whole life. It's gonna be with them for quite a very long time. So I hope that when they see the product and when they look at the detail, they will feel happy and satisfied with their purchase and that's why we spend a lot of time making each single item. It comes to our last step. We're going to crease the edges. Why do we need to crease the edges? You might want to ask. Just think of it like the skirting face or the crown molding. It may not seem that much. You might not even notice them that they are there, but when you actually look at them, it just makes the scene look more beautiful. And these decorative elements are what makes the letter item special, unique, give it an extra touch. So that's what we're going to do here. Even though you might not notice it, but when you actually look at the detail, it just look more refined. So I set the temperature to 315 Fahrenheit. It just works a little bit better Previously, I set it to 212 Fahrenheit. Uh, the heat is not high enough to leave a more prominent or defined braces. Now 305. So before we set, I usually place a marble slab underneath because this is too hot in my burn, my cutting mat. Before we purchase this machine, we use our letter items manually. So I need to press it really hard and it makes my joint really uncomfortable. That's why we try to look for some machine that can allow us to achieve the same effect without causing some permanent damage to our joint or wrist. And this machine works perfect for the purpose and it also unlocks other functions that we can play around with. Now this mat is ready. So uh, to clean the mat, we have a, a few options. We can use leather balm. It has the ingredients of coconut butter, beeswax, and almond oil. It just smells like something you can even eat. So it's pretty natural. But um, the thing with the leather balm, when you apply it on the letter, it tends to darken the letter. And I do like on my customer, people who are going to use this one to can actually use it in its natural uh, color first. And if you want to give it an extra protection, then Smith's Leather Balm is the way to go. Or any other balm, natural leather balm will work. For now, what we could do to clean it up if anything happened to it or you have some tiny scratch with it, uh, what we could do is to use damp cloth to gently 
wipe it off. And you can also apply heat. Use your dryer, your hair dryer to heat up the area where it's been uh, scratched. Then the leather will heal by itself afterwards. And as for the back, a horse hair brush. Give it a gentle brush. Just like this. So as I mentioned before, we can just use scrap that cut from the original piece to tie it together. It will already look pretty nice. So right now we still have some scrap leather from the previous piece that we cut out. I think I can make an extra item for this order. What I'm gonna make is a strap with snap on it and then it can also be used as a fastener or organizer for the wires of your charger. So multifunctional too. What a good idea. Always try to round out the edges so your letter can last longer. Not. I feel using knives is very dangerous. To make sure whenever I finish use one knife, I will put it back properly. Round up the edges using our mallet. What we are having here now is the glove snap. This is, is the socket and this is a cap. These two go together. And then we have stud and eyelet. These two go together. Okay. What we need, the setter would be too tight. This is for setting the stud and eyelet. And this one is for setting socket and cap. Okay. What we also need is a hole puncher. Let's measure it again. Okay, right in the middle. Let's set socket and cap here. So this goes in fast. Wait, this looks perfect. Now this part looks a bit longer, so we don't need this. Okay, now we're talking. This will look perfect. So let's set them together. Let's start with our cap. And place a set socket. Place this eyelet. And this was stud. Can we use this part? This little hole to set the stud to crisp punch. Okay, let's try it. Now let's wrap up this order together. So what we want to do puts each item into our 100% cotton leather bag. Nothing too fancy, just brown paper packages tied up with some strings. In terms of packaging, Rajiv Saranjo's wrapping gift wrapping video really speak to my heart. And, and so if you're interested in some minimalist but also aesthetical wrapping, I suggest you to go to see Rajiv Shalandra's video too. What I'm going to do right now is to write our customer's name. So this package is going to Russell. So let me write Thea Russell. Thea Russell. Together we live and thrive. So with our postcard, we include some of our favorite sayings from Stoicism. Let us prepare our minds as if we come to the very end of life. Let us postpone nothing. Let us balance life's book each day. Seneca. And we also include this care package. <laughs> If you like what you see here today, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And I will see you guys around next time. Bye.